Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is the August, oh no, I'm sorry, it's the September Snacku. I'm already screwing this up. Uh, disclaimer up front, uh, the HVAC system's right back there, so if there's too much noise from it running, uh, hopefully I can mess with the audio and make it sound better, but hopefully it's not really a problem. So if it is, I'll figure it out, and in the future it won't be as bad, but whatever. Sorry. Anyway, this is the September Snacku, and I've actually moved. I've gone from the tasting size box to the regular size box. The main reason for that being I wanted more snacks. What I was having from the tasting box was really good stuff, and when I was done, I was like, where's more? I want more because it's really tasty. So it just was a little bit, and it wasn't enough for me, so I went for the big one. Uh, I did miss the August box. Uh, that was my fault because I didn't look at the website closely enough for the order by dates and the shipping dates for the tasting box versus the regular size box because they're different because actually the tasting box comes from New York and the regular box actually comes from Japan so this one is actually from Japan so uh, really bummed that I missed the August one it was my fault the August one was all about senbai and if you've watched any of my other unboxings of these and tastings uh, you know I love senbai big fan rice crackers all that stuff so good uh, but I think there's supposed to be a little bit of senbai in here, maybe one or two. So I'll have something. But very excited to get into this. Uh, the way this one comes, it comes in a regular brown box uh, marked from Japan. And so, so actually, because it's coming from Japan, it could take up to four weeks to get to me. I think it only took me, for me, it was like mm, a week and a half maybe? Maybe two weeks? I don't know. So then once you open that uh, brown box, you have this cloth wrapped around another box, and I believe this is uh, called a washi fushiki or something like that. Uh, I looked it up before, but it's really pretty. Like, you can reuse it. It's cloth, so it's just like a, almost like a cheesecloth-ish, but more dense. I don't know. And then there's kind of the outside sleeve that looks like this. I think this is always the same for the outside sleeve. And then there's the inside, have the card, which actually got water on a little bit ago, so sorry about that. And you have the box itself with all the snackages in there. I'll take the paper off the top, and this is what you see. Sorry, there's uh, maybe turned, whoop, got stuff falling out of here. Turn it this way, and still falling out of there, but whatever. As you can see, I'm trying to do it without glare. Okay, there you go. Lots of snacks in there. So I'm going to go through, this will be a long video because I'm going to go through and try a little bit of everything. I am currently hungry, so, I and that's the thing about doing this. I got it during the week. I will never do record these during the week just because I am i don't have enough time to do it after work because they take a little bit of time. And on top of that, I have to be really quite hungry so I can best coordinate that on the weekends. So for this month, like I said, sorry, there's water up here. Uh, looks nice for their little card. It, it, this is their best of box, basically. Uh, I'm not going to read all their stuff up top about it, but I will read the descriptions of the actual snacks when we do the snacks. Um, so there's a lot in here. Let's start with whatever's sitting right on top. Chocolat Blanc. Uh, this one... Oh, that one sounds like a little bit messed up. This one sounds a little less so. So I'll open this one up. Not sure which one this is going to be. I'll have to op actually open it open and figure it out. There you go. See chocolate blanc. People want to see the writing on the back. Was that up? Right side up? Yeah, it was. Okay. And I have a plate over there to put the open things into, as well as some water. Big old thing of water. Big old thing of water. To rinse in between. Okay, so this must be the Shroy Koibito. Sorry, pronunciation. I'm just gonna, I mean, I might be good on it. I might not be good on it. This looks good, by the way. Uh, looking tasty already. Oh, get the glare down a little bit on that. There we go. Kind of looks like a kind of like a sugar cookie with like a vanilla icing on the inside. By far the most popular and award-winning cookie from Hokkaido, Shiroi Kubito translates to white lover. Sounds a little weird. Uh, and, and it's a simple yet delicious cookie with white chocolate sandwiched between butter biscuits. We always include these in our Hokkaido box because they're that good. Definitely white chocolate in there. 
I'm not huge on white chocolate, but this isn't a ton of white chocolate, so I'm kind of good with it. The thing I really like about white chocolate typically is kind of waxy. It gets really waxy in the texture. Um, those cookies are really buttery and really, really sweet, but not too much so. Mm. Definitely get that buttery cookie first. Sorry, my hair's all screwed. And then that sweet white chocolate flavor kicks in right after you're getting like the butteriness of the cookie. Um, the cookie is my favorite part of it because it's got like a crunch to it too. And texture is really cool. I really like some good texture with my snacks. Food in general, that's the thing that chefs will always talk about is, you know, it's important to have texture. So there's some extra of those. Next, this looks like the baked salted senbai. Let's do this. Let's do this senbai. And then the text on the back. I don't know if it was upside down. Uh, there we go. That's right side up. Okay, so a simple yet delicious double baked salted senbai. And that's all they have for the for the description on it. Oh, it's got a kind of weird smell in the package. Weird in package smell. So as you can see, very like rice cakey in the way it feels. It's very light. Got a nice crunch to it. It is quite salty. Very very salty on the outside. Got a real nice crunch. Mm hmm It just tastes like a crunchier rice cake that's more tasty. Because it actually tastes like there's like a slight soy sauce flavor on the outside as well to go along with the salt. But there is a lot of salt. You have to be okay with having like a nice salty snack. Um, I think maybe for me, I'd like the salt dialed back just a little bit. But it's not like I can't eat it. I will eat it. I will definitely eat it. That's a tasty sound bite. Cleanse the palate a little bit here. There's an extra one of that. Okay. Next, I think we have a few of these. I think it's like two of these. Um, oh, yes, I know which one. These are the Shiogama. So I think there's a few different flavors of this. Okay, I'm just going to... Now, for purpose of how it looks on screen, I'm going to do this one in the blue. So, for Shiogama, and I'll read you what it is. Nice little packaging. Oh, you probably want to see. It's a little bit ob obscured by the sticker, but sorry about that. If you want to read it. So, Shiogama is a snack made by a Buddhist temple in Sendai, featured in their May Sendai box. Each piece is carefully homemade using the original recipe and techniques passed down since 1600. That's a long time. Uh, the outer layer is made with a mixture of finely milled locally produced rice from Miyagi, shiso, which is Japanese mint, from Sendai, and premium sugar from Tokushima. The inside is filled with lightly salted azuki red bean paste. The snack is a favorite of Japan's royal family. Oh, so I get to know what it's like to feel like royalty. So, I am a fan of red bean paste, and I didn't really know that until I tasted uh, my first sna um, snacku, because in the United States, you don't really have exposure to anything like that. So, I realized through snacku, red bean paste, I'm digging it. Okay, so this is like, I think this is going to be messy to eat if you can see, like it's real like, it's real kind of like sugary on the outside. It's, it's kind of like it's like packed sugar. So I'm gonna have to, I'm actually gonna eat it over the plate, sorry. Hmm, okay. Hmm, this is interesting. Okay, so when I first start biting into it, it literally is just like packed sugar. It, it's sweet like that, and 
it's grainy. But then as I keep biting through, it starts to become almost a little cake-like. And like a mixture between like the texture of like a cake and a, and a marshmallow. There's a little bit of a floral note on there, which I'm assuming has to do with that mint. Texturally, this is really interesting, and I really dig this texture. I'm not huge on that kind of floral note, because like flower flavoring and stuff can easily turn me off. But the red bean paste is tasting nice, sweet. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's sugary, but it's actually not crazy sugary for... When I was reading the description, I was like, I think this would be really sweet, really, really sugary. It really wasn't that bad. Huh. This is fun to eat because of the texture. Mm. Yeah, that's fun to eat. That texture's cool. I dig it. It wasn't, actually, I didn't even need to have it over that plate. It wasn't as um, messy as I thought it was going to be. That's good. That's good. As I keep eating it more and more, I'm tasting more of the red bean paste too. Which to me is almost like um, a dialed back version and a, a little more sweet and a little less of the flavor of like a fig. I dig it though. I like it. Why is my... There we go. Now I've got lighter. Cameras, man. Okay, moving on to the next one. So this is... Looks like... Happy Turn is what it's called on here. Happy Turn. Let me get the... There you go. There's some Happy Turn. You can see the back of it if you want to... Sorry, I can't get all the glare off that. It's hard to describe these rice crackers. They're both sweet and savory, and we love them. Not a whole lot to it. You've got my interest. When you say rice crackers, I'm in. Oh, yeah. Here, let me get a full one, because that was one. Are they all broken? There's a bunch of them broken. That's fine. I don't really care that much. I just think for for showing people, I'd like to have a non-broken one. Yeah, so it kind of, like, they kind of look like these, like, fingerling cookies, like the ones they kind of, like, put in tiramisu or whatever. Um, yeah. It looks like coated in salt. Ooh. Oh, dude. Mmm. So it's got a little bit of like a garlickiness to it. A decent amount of salt. Got that soy in there. Nice crunch. And there is a little sweetness. But it's not tasting like, it's just like sugar sweetness. I mean, I think it might be. But the way it's integrating itself with the garlic flavor in there. I just feel like it comes off as not like it's just sugar. Um, makes it more pleasant than if it tasted like it was just sugar. Dude. Man. Mm. And there's another bag in there. I'm digging that. That is, yeah. That is pretty killer. I like that a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I hope my wife doesn't really like that, because I will just destroy it. I'll eat it all. A little palate cleanse there. No, oh, that was really, really good. I think I'll stick with savory at the moment. Um, this is going to be interesting. I've had something kind of like these before in the U.S. These are Saya Endo Crisp. Naturally baked snow pea crisps with a hint of traditional Japanese dashi flavor. All right. There you go. Got a little happy pea right there. A little happy pea. There you go. Get into this. Let's see if I can open it from the top in a way that I can then reclose it if I need to. Because there's actually only one of these in there, which is okay. Ah, because there's a decent amount in there because it's just like little pea pods. Yeah. I've had something kind of like this here in the, in the states. Let me put that over there. Yeah, see. It just looks like a like a crispy pie. Really light and fluffy. 
kind of like it's been Cheeto-wise. You know, like the texture of like a puffed Cheeto. It's like that. Definitely has that vegetal like bean pod flavor. But it's not a ton, really. It's got a nice saltiness to it. This is good. Getting your veggies is the best way to get your veggies. Kind of addictive. That's really tasty. Yeah, no. It kind of tastes a little potato chippy, actually. Like slightly potato y, slightly like actual vegetable, like a bean. Um, that's good though. Like a decent amount of salt to it, but just not, not a lot. Like it's a nice saltiness. That's pretty good. Mm, mm hmm. So I said I've had stuff like that here in the U.S., but they've not been as good as that, I will say. That's really good. Uh, yeah, that's the best version of that I've ever had. All right, next. Let me see which one's less. I think this one's less messed up. Okay, so I think this is the vanilla wafer, but I'm going to have to open it up to find out just to be sure. Does it say bourbon on it? I hope it, 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 that definitely says bourbon on it. I hope that means like bourbon flavor because I do dig that. Yes, it's the vanilla wafer. It says light airy wafer sandwich filled with delicious vanilla cream from Hokkaido. So I don't know what bourbon means in Japanese, but. And it says it on the wafer too. Put that over there. See, it says bourbon. It's like a little, yeah, it's like wafers. I can't even see the filling in there, the vanilla filling. Mmm. Really light, crispy, wafer flavor. You have stuff kind of like this in the U.S. Definitely get that vanilla and that, like, vanilla cream inside. If you can see. I don't want to be too overexposed. Yeah, let me see it in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like how crispy it is. Very, very crispy. It's light in flavor. Like, it's sweet, but it's, but it's like, a real low level of sweet. It's just a nice, light dessert or snack. I like that. That's good. All right, moving on again. Um, let's not switch back to that. Let's, let's do this right now. I don't know which is what. Oh, stra strawberry or melon? I feel like I should do melon for this because strawberry is just normal. So the next thing I have, I brought a spoon for because I'm going to need it. Kanazawa fruit jelly. Two different ones, strawberry and a melon. I don't think I've ever had like a melon flavored anything from Japan. So might as well go with that one. So what it says about that, uh, summery fruit jellies made with organic locally produced Japanese fruits from the city of Kanazawa. You'll either get strawberry, melon, orange, grape, or peach. Ooh, wish I would have got peach. I like peach a lot. We included these jellies in our September 2016 Summer Fruits of Japan box. All right, I'm going to open this. Ooh, it's really, the top's really on there. Okay, there we go. And it's, bleh. it's like jelly. Make it, oh, sh oops, I got something on. Sorry, I'm going to have to lick it off. Sorry about that. That looked bad. It was, you know, not very professional. It got on the mouse pad area. I needed to take care of that. It tasted good, though. But I did bring a spoon. I guess I just drink from it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Let's see. Like the jelly. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Very gelatin-like. Definitely tasting like melon. Kind of like a honeydew melon. And um, it's not too sugary. It's like light on the on the sweetness. A lot of melon flavor. A little bit of honey. So it's like melon and then honey comes in after that. 
if you're fine with like a jelly texture, it's good. It's refreshing. I like that. I'll probably end up really liking strawberry too. It's good. It's tasty. Hmm. I like that. I need some water. Hmm. It's like a snack marathon. I love it because, like I said, I was I'm hungry. <laughs> So this is good. This is, I wouldn't say it's quite filling me up, but okay. I'm going to go back to something savory. This is Ogurasan Su Mini Arar Senbai, or Arare. Yes, Senbai. This is what I was talking about. I have a feeling I'm going to really dig on this. There's like different shapes. I'll read what it is first. Uh, we first featured or Ogurasan Su in our September 2015 Snacku box. They have been making traditional Japanese rice crackers for over 60 years. Nice. All of their senbai are handmade in their store in Kyoto, using only the finest locally sourced ingredients. In each bag are a variety of mini senbai of different shapes, sizes, texture, and flavor. Oh, so there's different flavors in there. Awesome. Oh, and they're kind of like, all right, let's see how this is. Well, it's funny because what they're wrapped in is kind of like a rice paper. So, and they're in just like a little, oh. I should have done that over this. <laughs> it's like getting crumbs all over. Okay, so, I don't know if I'm going to, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Lots of different senbai. Okay, so this one looks like it's like kind of pinkish. So, I assume maybe it's got some sort of like strawberry flavor to it. Mm. It tastes a tad bit fishy. It's shrimp. That's what it is. That light fishiness is shrimp. It is a shrimp flavored senbai. A lot of crunch to it. A little bit of a soy sauce on the outside. A little salty, but shrimp. And it's not too strong. Like the shrimp flavor is not like crazy strong. There have been things I've had that are shrimp flavored that just like, the shrimp is like real fishy and unpleasant. This is not that way. That is good. I'm a fan. This one I think will be kind of fishy because it has seaweed on it. Uh, I found Senbai with seaweed or like rice crackers in the U.S. with seaweed on them. I'm not huge on because they do have more of like an oceany fishy taste, but yeah. Same thing. Okay, low, low, low level saltiness to it. Very little bit of a soy. The seaweed really shines. So it's basically just like crispy seaweed is what it ends up tasting like, which is not really for me. I'm not huge on that, but if you like seaweed, you will definitely like that. So this one's a little more puffed up. I mean, what is in there? Like those little things kind of look like chives to me. That'd be nice if it was. Mm. Okay. So this is kind of like one of those fried ones. Like double fried. It's like really thick to get through. You can taste that it was kind of fried. Which makes it kind of like more savory and decadent. It almost gives it a little bit of like a butteriness. But it's got a nice salt throughout. It's got a little bit of that tang from the soy sauce on the outside. That's good. I think that's my favorite of them thus far. I got this one that looks like black sesame seeds. And it's like, it's brown, but it's also like a little greenish at the same time. I had one with black sesame seeds in it before and love, love, loved it. So, we'll see. That was magical. That is magical. I love sesame in the first place. I'm a big Sesame fan. So that, yeah. I'm saving half of each one so my wife can try it because we do have another thing of them. But we're going on a trip sometime relatively soon. I want to take all this stuff with us. It'd be fun to eat in the car while we drive. So that was really good. This looks like it's another one of those kind of like double fried ones. Um, but it's a little bit lighter. It doesn't feel like it has as much of like a glaze on the outside. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So in comparison to the other one, this one's kind of more dialed back with flavor. It's light, it's crispy. It tastes like it's like that double fried one, but it's higher on the salt content and I don't really taste any like soy tang or anything to it. And there's not really any sweetness. It's just kind of more salty. It's good. I like it. This one looks like it has some sort of nut in there. Coffee bean? Almost looks like a coffee bean kind of. I don't know. That's interesting. Is it? That'd be interesting for Yeah, it's some sort of nut. What type of nut does that taste like? I'm trying to figure this out. It's like a real mild nut. It's not like super aggressive. It's kind of like a darker, more roasty version of like a pine nut, maybe? Kind of? That's a little more in between on the flavor. There's a decent salt to it. There's a nice crunch to it. You get a little bit of that nut. It's pretty solid. All right, this one's coated in a lot of stuff. Did you see all the like the sugar salt grains on there? Yeah. Mmm. Ooh. I think it's actually coated in sugar. Cause it's sweet. There's like no salt to it. Nice and crispy does have a tang from soy sauce that you can get and then it's like real sweet that's definitely sugar on the outside that's interesting hmm. and then the last of the cr these crackers or this senbai it's like a little star one with flecks of something in it hmm. oh what is that it almost tastes like corn like, yeah, basically what it tastes like is like corn that's been glazed with like a soy sauce glaze. A little sweet. Yeah. There's like a little bit of a vegetal note in there too. That's interesting. Not big on that one though. Not my favorite. A bunch of the other ones, real good. All right, next. Okay, excited about this. I've had this one before. It was on one of my reviews, but I'm going to do it again. Since we're here. This is the strawberry de soie or de quoi. I don't know how to say it. And then, doo -doo -doo. There you go. Uh, a baked dessert cake made with layers of almond and hazelnut meringue and whipped strawberry buttercream. This was included in our February 2018 Valentine's box. Yeah, so I only got like one of these when I was getting the tasting box. So two of these now so that's nice this is why i'm saying it was good that i stepped it up to the regular one I need to be opening it over the actual plate more often here get with it carlin okay is it dropping stuff still as you can see it looks like real kind of cakey feels cakey there's so much strawberry in there whoa it's really light and fluffy when you bite into it, and it just invades your mouth with like a nice vibrant strawberry flavor. Mmm, so cakey. So I don't get like the, the hazelnut aspect to the meringue and everything because the strawberry is so strong. But it's good. You can definitely taste it. It's like a buttercream in the middle. Definitely buttery creamy. All right, that's my half. Damn. That's good. Yeah, I remember it being good. It is very good. Ooh. And then the last thing. These are really small. So I have two different ones of it. These are... Compaito? Star-shaped traditional candy that is a favorite among children during summer festivals. So I have two different colors. So I got a pack of it's like green, yellow, and white, and then like an orange, pink, and a little bit of yellow in there. 
I'm gonna do this one. I want the pink. They're really small. Are they gonna be like kind of like? They look like little like rock candies or like nerds. That's that's gonna be the best frame of reference for what they kind of look like real close up. But I'll try and show you here. Uh, let me give you an orange one to show the camera. So I'll probably stand out the most out of these. Need some crumbs on me. Send by crumb. Okay, can you see it? See, it kind of looks like like little rock candy. It's like a overly grown nerd. It's hard. Yeah, it's rock candy basically. It just tastes like sugar, like pure unadulterated sugar, which is why it's probably very popular with the kids in Japan. Just get all hopped up on sugar with that. Okay, there you go. Woo, that's too much for me. I don't wanna, I don't like those actually, just cause it's just like straight up sugar. I don't like that. Yeah. All right, anyway, if people wanted to pause on this, I will put, put this up here if you wanna read the thing at the top. Am I getting it all in there? I am, okay. So I'll just kinda scroll up. You can pause it if you wanted to reread something. There you go. Well, hopefully everyone enjoyed this unboxing. I definitely did. Uh, what were some of my favorite things? I'm not going to pull them back over here, but um, obviously the little assortment of the Senbai were really cool. Um, just fun to taste through. Other than that, that Shiogama, you know, the thing that was like looked like that. Here you go. I'll show you this, this one down here, that Shiogama. Real interesting. Real interesting. Um, the texture mainly. I mean, it was good too. That strawberry de soie or de croix. I mean, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but whatever. And then the other thing that really kind of rocked my socks off was this thing. The, um, Hoppy Turn. That, pff, yeah, really tasty. So these things are really good. This is a great box. I'm really excited. For my first, like, straight up, full-on snacku box, awesome. I'm excited. So the one for October is actually going to be a fall theme. And so I believe there's going to be some pumpkin stuff in there. I'm not huge on pumpkin. That's my disclaimer up front. Uh, but who knows? You know, maybe there's some snacks out there that are done in a way that I will like pumpkin. So we'll see what it is, but I'm always interested to try new things. And that's what we'll be doing with the next one. Thank you everyone for checking this out. Uh, if you want to see all my other videos, I do some unboxings and some other stuff. Go ahead and check out my videos. Really appreciate that. Give me a like on this if you can. Uh, also, takes you no, pretty much no time at all. If you could do me a big, big favor, hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to know as soon as my videos go up, you can hit that little notification bell as well. And I would much, much appreciate that. Like I said, it takes like a second for you guys to do. And it means a lot for me because I can grow this. Maybe I can do some more snack boxes in the future. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, thank you everyone for this. Uh, for your attention, that is. And until next time, keep it brutal.